in season one. I know you guys were still shooting it when mm -hmm. the show premiered. So how was it to get that reaction after that first episode debuted? Um, it was great. You know, we we um, we knew instantly when the when the pilot came, went out that it was it had really touched a nerve. And it's, it's but what we didn't anticipate was just the, the level of anxiety the show would generate in people. So it's great to kind of you know. To kind of walk the streets on a, on a Monday morning and after the show on a, on a, on a, on a Sunday and, and have people go, excuse me, do I know you from somewhere? And are you that guy? And it's, but, it, but then again, uh, you know, we, we had to leave Charlotte just as um, I think episode six we left town, so we missed the whole finale stuff. So it's going to be interesting to see um, to go back to Charlotte, and see what the reaction to people is. Yeah, I mean that. It, it was amazing to watch. It felt like more people were getting on board every week. Yeah. The conversations started heating up. Yeah. Did you ever have to resist the urge to say, okay, you guys are totally wrong with your theories? <laughs> I, well, it was interesting because I, I, I joined Twitter and um, it was interesting just reading people's thoughts. And, uh, and I didn't realize that people thought I was the mole. Yeah. And, you know, and lots of people were being very kind of serious, going, you're the mole, you're the mole. Um, so it was, I had to resist the temptation to say, I know who it is. Uh, and I do know who it is. But so many people are wide of the mark. So many people are wide of the mark. But I'm not going to tell you who it is. You're like, that would cost a lot more money than you can afford. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So what was your favorite moment for David in season one? My favorite moment was, I have to say, right at the end, when uh, he tells Saul, look, you know, you're either on board or go, you know, go your own way. For me, it was, it was the first time I felt truly in possession of this character. Because up until that moment, I just, I, I can't str it feels like I struggled to really know who he was. He, he never let himself go. Right. He never revealed himself to anybody. Um, until that very last scene with Saul. So um, I'm looking forward to season two because I think finally now I understand who this guy is. But it took me a long time to kind of, I had all these different pieces of the puzzle, but when he kind of reveals himself to be somewhat of a dark horse and somewhat of a, 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 a uh, single-minded careerist to the point where he would hide something like this from everybody, I, I think that was, I thought, God, if you can do that, um, you know, you, 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 you're kind of pretty good. So I'm kind of looking forward to just being a bit more in possession of all the cards this time. Well, and how will his relationship with Carrie change in season two, do you think? Um, I don't know. I think I, it's going to be interesting to see what, you know, because uh, is, when we when we did the scene where I kind of fired, technically fired her, yeah. I mean, I thought I was basically going to go over there and be very cruel to her. The director had a really interesting idea and said, you know, I want you to be, I want you to go over there and, and hug her and be kind of almost emotional with her. And it was quite a sad thing to see her in that state. And I didn't, it was interesting to go completely, to not do what I thought I was going to do, which would be very hard with her, but to actually be quite upset about the state that she's in. So secretly he still loves her. Secretly he still has a huge affection for her. But I don't think he's. I don't think he he understands that. And I, and I you know, for him to leave his wife, you know, I mean, it's interesting because I, I spoke to Claire and I said I don't think this guy. I don't think his wife found out. I think he told her because he th he really thought he was in love with Karen. Yeah. And so she, when she left, I think that crushed him. So um, I think he's still got a huge affection for her. Well, if you could have anything happen in season two, what would it be? I want more sex. I, 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 everyone's getting, everyone's, everyone's having sex in the show, about Mestis. So I'm trying to work that in with the writers. I think I should at least get my kit up. Start bribing them tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you got no. your plan for tonight, basically. Yes, I've got my plan. 